viewers how are you i'm back with class number 5 of my mental math video series today i will teach you how to add two digit numbers in your brain very fast previously i had taught you how to add a single digit number to a two digit number but this time both numbers are two digit numbers so let's begin there are actually two methods of solving two digit number sums in your brain now every human brain is different so you will have to decide yourself which method you find easier for your brain to handle and become a super brain you don't have to use both methods just choose a method and stick to it and practice it so let's go to method number 1 so for example if we get a question 35 plus 43 So how can we solve it in our brain using method 1 we will separate the tens and the ones from each number and add them separately so 35 has 3 tens which means a 30 and 43 has 4 tens which means a 40 and the ones are 5 and 3 so we will add them separately So thirty plus forty is seventy. We do three plus four is seven, and zero stays the same. And what is five plus three? Five plus three, if we use a single digit addition, is eight. And we just add the two numbers together to get seventy-eight. Simple, isn't it? Now let's do a bigger question. Eighty-nine plus sixty-four. Now, separate the tens. Eighty plus sixty. Separate the ones. Nine plus four. Now let's add them separately. So eighty plus sixty. Eight plus six is fourteen. We are using the class number one mental math trick, and the zero stays the same. So this is one hundred and forty. And what is nine plus four? Again, single digit addition. Nine plus four is thirteen, and now we need to add one hundred and forty and thirteen. So, how to do it in your brain? It's quite simple if you think about it. We have four tens in one hundred and forty, and we have one ten and a three in the ones position. So we just add. This four tens and the one ten to get actually five tens, and zero plus three is three, so the answer comes out to be one hundred and fifty-three. Let's do another question: seventy-five plus sixty-nine. Separate the tens and the ones, so seventy. And sixty will go on one side, and five and nine will go on the other side. The ones from the two numbers. Seventy plus sixty. Add seven plus six separately to get a thirteen, and you get a zero there. So one hundred and thirty. And five plus nine is fourteen. Now add one hundred and thirty. And fourteen, so you give an extra ten to the three tens in one hundred and thirty, and you add zero plus four, so you get one hundred and forty-four. So let's do the method number two now. Now you have to listen carefully to this lecture, okay, so that you understand the procedure properly. So, for example, we get a question: forty-nine plus Thirty-five. Now we have to turn both these numbers, that is forty-nine and thirty-five, into multiples of ten, and we have to choose the closest multiple of ten to make the addition easier. So we can add a one to forty-nine to make it a fifty. This is the closest multiple, and thirty-five. It depends on you. You can add a five to it, or you can subtract a five to it because it's in the middle. So we will just. Subtract a five from it to make it thirty. Now just add these two resulting multiples of ten, fifty plus thirty, to get 
80. Simple addition. Now this is not the final answer. We have to do the opposite of the operations we did to make the question numbers into multiples of 10. So we added a 1. Now we have to subtract a 1. We subtracted a 5. Now we have to add a 5. Now I would recommend that you do the addition first. So 80 plus 5 is 85. And 85 minus 1, very simple, just remove a 1 from 85 to get an 84. And this is the final answer. So let's do one more question. 42 plus 69. Now 42 can be turned into a multiple of 10 by subtracting a 2 from it. So it becomes a 40. And 69 can be turned into 70, the closest multiple of 10, by adding a 1. Simple, isn't it? Now 40 plus 70, add 4 plus 7 in your brain to get an 11. And then put the 0 separately to get the answer 110. Again, this is not the final answer. We have to do the opposite of the operations that we did. So minus 2 turns into plus 2 and plus 1 turns into minus 1. Do the addition first, 110 plus 2 is 112, minus 1 is 111. And this is the final answer. Now you have to decide which method you found easier, you were more comfortable with, and just keep on practicing that method. I hope you like this video and this class. Just keep on practicing and you will become super at mental math. All my classes, mental math and coding for beginners in Scratch are 100% free. So do share it with your friends and family and spread the word. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. You can also download my mental math app for practicing all my classes. It is 100% free and available on Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And the best thing about this app is that you have a timer there so you solve the questions in your brain with the timer and it will get you better at mental math. I'm also making worksheets for these mental math classes. After almost every two classes, I make these worksheets and publish them on my Facebook page so you can use them, print them out and practice your mental math. In my next class, I will be telling you how to subtract two digit numbers. Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.